Okay, let's see. <coughs> oh my god. <coughs> no. Hey everyone, it's Carlos here. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. All right, you guys, so in today's video, we're gonna be doing another product review, but this time around, we're gonna be doing it on a fragrance brand. Now, I'm positive that you've seen this particular fragrance brand all over social media for some odd reason they're just pushing it out there to the masses because they want you to buy their bootleg versions of perfumes and colognes. <laughs> this is be completely honest. So the company that I'm referring to, I'm speaking about the company called Dossier. So if you're not familiar with Dossier, pretty much they are a fragrance brand company that specializes in recreating bootleg fragrances that are currently on the market at your local department store. So basically, instead of spending a hundred or a hundred dollars, wait, I said a hundred dollars or two hundred dollars because some fragrances can be that much. They basically recreate that same fragrance that of your favorite choice and pretty much give it out to the masses at a more of a affordable discounted price point. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, you guys, now it doesn't mean technically it's bootleg. I'm just saying it because that's what I grew up with saying the word bootleg. So it is what it is. Anyways, you guys, so if you want to see my honest thoughts and opinions in terms of what products I picked up, then you got to keep on watching. If you are new to my channel, hey, you guys, my name is Carlos. Just in case if you missed that, if you like product reviews, unboxings, makeup tutorials, lifestyle videos, and vlogs, then this channel is right up your alley. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also hit the notification bell as well. So anytime time I upload a new video you know what that means you're gonna see a hot mess of a circus <laughs> right here <laughs> and give my video a thumbs up as well because as always I greatly appreciate it so without further ado let's go ahead and get these suckers I got two of them unbox sniffing them up up wait <laughs> sniffing them up up what the heck do I say let's just unbox these together <laughs> All right, you guys, so let's go ahead and get started on showing you the actual products that I picked out. So again, as I mentioned, the company is called Dossier. Now they do specialize on candles as well. So basically how their website is like structured, they got women, they got men, and then they also have unisex fragrances. So from my understanding, there are different price points depending on the fragrance that you're looking for. So I, they say on their website, starting at $19, I'm not sure if the $19 is referring to like when you get like a discount code, but what I have seen, prices range between like $29 up to like $49, $59 on an actual fragrance. As I mentioned, it's pretty much a company that just recreates bootleg fragrances that are currently on the market that you can buy at your local department store, which again, it's pretty nice. Now, one thing I've learned over the years that I wasn't aware of this, that, you know, when you purchase like an actual fragrance at a department store, you know, your local Macy's, Nordstrom, did you know that fragrances are one of those one things that are not trademark? Like you cannot actually trademark an actual scent. No clue. So that's the reason why you have companies like this who recreate a fragrance because they can actually do it. No one owns a scent. I did not know that. So, hmm. so if you ever go to a dollar store and you see a bootleg version of like CK1 <laughs> for $1.25, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, you guys. So let me go ahead and show you exactly how it looks like. Now, I can't remember exactly what I paid for, but I think both of the scents all together, including shipping, I think I end up paying like 60 some dollars. And that's including the discount that I use or the discount code that I use. So, all right. So, dun, dun, dun. And, and real quick, this is not a sponsored video. So, my thoughts, and even if it was a sponsored video, my thoughts would always be the same. I would never change my opinion based on getting a free product. <laughs> It don't work like that on my channel. Mm -mm. All right, you guys, so that is how the box comes like. Now you do get this card right on top. As I mentioned, just real quick, I have already opened the box. I've already smelled the fragrances, but I only felt the smell film, I can talk. Smell them one time. So now on the card right here is like an image of like, like a generic bottle. The bottle doesn't look like this. No, I don't. But on the back side, it does tell you like their notes. It tells you what it smells like, ooh, like, and it just tells you like, thank you, blah, blah, blah. So let's take a look. So right here, the fragrance that I'm holding, it is called Aromatic Star Assign. A sign. I believe I'm pronouncing that correctly. All right, you guys. So based on the card right here, it's saying that <laughs> this fragrance is inspired 
Blue Lake. Uh, their version of, or the, the actual version of Dior Savage. Now I've smelled it before. It actually smells pretty good, like the actual Dior version. So <laughs> we will see about that one. All right, you guys. So let me go ahead and take this sucker out. I do like the fact that the bottle, I can't figure out what I want to do with this. The bottle is really nice. It's very simplistic. Yes, you could say it looks kind of like generic-ish-y. That's not a word. You get what I'm trying to say, right? But I actually like this. I like the fact that it is so clean and crisp and just like sterile. Because, you know, you could put it in your bathroom. And if you're deciding to use a woman's fragrance for a man, then you don't have to feel kind of like a shame. Like, oh, that's a girl's perfume. What are you wearing it? Or vice versa. Do you get what I mean? They're all like this. And I also like the fact that this top is magnetic. So, means if you're a person who likes to carry like perfume bottles, and there's some people out there who do in their book bags, their purse, then you don't have to worry about the top falling off or breaking off. And then it actually starts leaking. That has happened to me once before. So look at this, I love it. I love the fact that it's magnetic. Now, it says right here, their top notes of the fragrance is um, bergamot, pepper, star assign, I'm probably saying that name correctly. Middle notes are lavender, nutmeg, and gergamum. Um, their base notes are patchouli, amberwood, and... me. I don't know. I can't barely say the word. Anyways, you guys, so I like it because it does have like, it actually does smell like Dior um, Savage. I'm not going to lie. It does. Mm. All right. Let me go ahead and spray it. Whew. All right. Now I'm going to dab it. I don't want to rub it because they say it bruises the, you know, the notes or whatever. It bruises the cologne or the fragrance. I don't know if that's true, but whatever. Hmm, it actually smells really good. Now, in terms of like the time length of how long it lasts on your skin, I honestly don't know because as I mentioned before, I've only opened it up once to spray it one time. I actually never used them yet. So the next product or next fragrance that I picked up, same packaging all together, blah, blah, blah. You get that card. So here's the bottle. All right, you guys. So now this is what they said, you know, as a suggestion to go with it. I'm not sure why, but whatever. So this fragrance right here is called Woody Sage. So it says it's inspired, Boule, um, by Jo Malone. This is a wood sage and sea salt cologne. Oh, that sounds actually really good. All right, so the top notes are fig tree, grapefruit, middle notes are mandarin notes, uh, amberette, and their base notes are clary, sage, not sure what that is, and amber wood. It actually sounds kind of good. All right, you guys, let's see. Hmm. Oh, I like it. It's, it is on more of on the lighter citrusy side, but not too citrusy where it smells like it's a woman's fragrance. It actually smells really good. All right, so let's go ahead and just put these together. I'm curious. Hmm. Okay, still a little too early because I don't smell any difference yet. Hmm. All right, so the nice thing about this actually, well, just these two, I don't know about their other fragrances, but since they are clear fragrances, you can actually spray these on your clothes and they won't stain. Now, the ones that actually do stain in terms of fragrances are the ones that are actually more darker. All right, let's go ahead and take a smell of this. Hmm. Actually, it smells really good now with both of them together. Oh, I'm not gonna lie. I am pleasantly surprised that these actually smell very expensive. Like you, you can tell when you get like a cheap like fragrance, perfume, cologne from like a local, you know, like you know, flea market places, like, places like that. They, they smell. I don't want to say watered down, but they don't have like that strong scent. I will tell you, I sprayed a lot. I normally don't spray that much, but just with that alone, it's a. It, you got a kick to it in terms of the scent. So a little bit goes a long way, which is actually kind of nice, you guys. Um, not gonna lie. Um, hmm. Am I, am I content that I picked these up? Absolutely. Um, am I surprised by the quality? 
yeah, to be completely honest as well. But this actually is really good, I'm not gonna lie. Keep smelling it because this woody sage and this other one right here, great choices to go together. All right, you guys, so if you have any of these fragrances, definitely leave a comment below. Let me know the fragrances <laughs> can talk. Let me know the fragrances that you do have in your stock and what is it comparable to? These are actually really good. I'm happy that I got, you know, for 60, 60 some dollars, that's still a good bargain. Now, now let me tell you my honest thoughts and opinions in terms of the actual product itself in terms of buying it from like your local department store. Truth be told, nowadays you can actually get higher end, meaning like designer products like fragrances at your local Marshalls, Ross, TJ Maxx. So, and you can get them at a fraction of the price. So even if you want to spend like the 60 or 30 or 40 bucks of a fragrance, you could possibly get that same fragrance at your local TJ Maxx and in a gift set pack. Do you know what I mean? Like. Now, if you, there's a fragrance that you absolutely love and you can't seem to find it anywhere, then yeah, I would say this is actually practical and the best route to go to to get this um, particular fragrance. Anyways, you guys, if you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and also hit the notification bell as well. So anytime I upload new videos, you automatically get the notifications and give my video a thumbs up because as always, I greatly appreciate it. Now, if this video was informative, I would greatly appreciate it if you also subscribe. All right, you guys. So as I mentioned before, I will make sure to leave all the information in the description field below just in case you want to check them out. I also do have a discount code that I can share with you. It's not a discount code that actually goes to me. So again, this this video is not sponsored by any means. I just thought I would share something with you that I absolutely enjoy. Now the discount code that I am going to give it to you, it is from another affiliation code. So that person does receive a commission for any time you purchase any of these particular products. All right, you guys, but until then, make sure you brush your teeth, wash your culo, and subscribe. Until then, I will see you guys in my next video. Take care, bye now.